Okay. Oh, what's up you guys? Nicola Maserati here. Today I am super excited. I'm, you know what I just realized? I am always excited doing videos. I always say that. I think every single video, in fact, Let's look. Today, I am super excited. Gosh, I'm so excited. And I am super excited. I am super excited. <laughs> See, I do say that. Today, we're gonna to be talking about Adobe's new update for Adobe Premiere Pro 2018. And the main thing we're gonna be talking about today is Adobe Premiere Pro's color matching feature. Yeah, I'm so excited. But anyway guys, enough of me rambling on. Let's get into Premiere and check out this new color match feature. All right guys, so we are in Adobe Premiere Pro right now. We're gonna check out this new color match feature. This is really, really simple. So I think you guys are gonna like this. Literally the click of a button that you're able to do this. So this is Adobe Premiere's new color match feature. So if you haven't updated Adobe Premiere Pro, go do that and then come back to this video. So as you can see, this is a clip that I shot when I was in San Francisco. Uh, it's actually some B-roll that I shot uh, when I was in San Francisco. That's my brother just there. And this is gonna be my clip that I'm gonna be matching to this screenshot that I took from Casey Neistat's new video. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. It's awesome, super exciting stuff that's going on with him, so I definitely recommend you check that out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get into the comparison view first. We can see our reference clip and then we can see our current clip. And so there's a few different ways that you can do that. You can go into your Lumetri color panel and as you can see, there's a new thing here called color wheels and match. So if you click that, you'll see that it gives you the option for the comparison view. Another way you can get to it is by going down here into comparison view or you can go to your settings here and go to comparison view there. So we're just gonna do it from here because we're, we're gonna be using this anyway. So if I click that, you'll see that both the clips pop up. Now as you can see, the Casey Neistat clip is the reference clip. This is the colors that we're gonna be trying to get onto my current clip with my brother in San Francisco. So as you can see, it says reference and current. So super simple there. Now the goal is to get the colors from this reference clip onto my current clip of my brother in San Francisco. The first thing that you wanna make sure is checked, which is already checked by default, um, is the face detection. So just make sure that that stays checked. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna match the skin tones from the reference clip onto the current clip. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is go to apply match, click that. You can see that the clips matched really well and if I uncheck this you can see the difference there so before this clip had a lot of magento and not so much blue which is kind of what Casey Neistat has going on over here and if I recheck that you'll see that it brings a lot more blues into it, it gives you kind of a nice steel blue or blue steel look keep in mind this is gonna be a starting point so it's not always gonna be hundred and ten percent perfect but it does a really good job of matching the color profile of the reference clip. All right guys, so let's get back to my face. All right guys, so that is it. If you enjoyed this, please hit that like button below. Comment if that's something that you wanna do. And, and, wait, I'm not, I'm not even gonna start that. Just, we'll go back to, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video.